Hi everyone. So we did a video about Veterans Day in the United States and now we're going to do one about Remembrance Day in Canada. So I'm going to share my screen. What is Remembrance Day? Remembrance Day is a special day in Canada and in many other countries around the world. It takes place on November 11th each year. On this day, people remember and honor the men and women who served their country during war and other conflicts. On Remembrance Day, people honor men and women who fought and continue to fight in wars. Honoring these people shows appreciation for their actions. They fought and, lost, and some lost their lives so that other people could live in peace. People remember these men and women because they try to preserve freedom and peace in their countries. Their actions made a difference in their country's future. It's important to recognize the courage and sacrifices of others. On Remembrance Day, people recognize the hardship that others went through and the fears soldiers and other people experienced. It's a way to say thank you for their bravery. The day reminds people of their responsibility to keep working for peace. On the 11th hour of the 11th day of the 11th month, people stop what they're doing and remember, this day and time was the official ending of World War I. People in schools, offices, and businesses stop their work and bow their heads. For two whole minutes, no one speaks. During these two minutes, people think about the soldiers, nurses, doctors, and other people who have served during times of war, conflict, and peace. Poppies are red flowers that people wear on Remembrance Day. People wear poppies because these flowers bloomed over the graves of dead soldiers in France and Belgium. Poppies bloomed on the battlefields called Flanders Fields. Poppies are a symbol of Remembrance Day. A symbol stands for or represents something else. Many people wear paper or plastic poppies during the week before Remembrance Day. They pin them on the left lapel of a jacket close to the heart. Many people read poems on Remembrance Day. There's a famous Remembrance Day poem called In Flanders Fields. It was written by John McRae in 1915 during World War I. Many Remembrance Day ceremonies include a reading of In Flanders Fields. There are other Remembrance Day poems too. One poem begins like this. We wear a poppy on Remembrance Day and at 11 we stand and pray. In some cities there are Remembrance Day parades. Veterans march in the parades and wave to people as they walk by. Some people in the parades play drums or other instruments for others to listen as they watch. People carry or wave Canadian flags on Remembrance Day parades in Canada. People may also sing the Canadian national anthem. Remembrance Day is a day to feel patriotic or proud of your country. On Remembrance Day, some people visit the National War Memorial in Confederation Square in Ottawa, Canada. The memorial was unveiled in 1939. The bronze figure on top of the memorial represent peace and freedom. The memorial was designed to commemorate the 60,000 Canadians who died in World War I. Each bronze figure stands over seven and a half feet high, and that's 2.2 meters. Each day, Remembrance Day ceremonies are held at the National War Memorial. The tomb of the unknown soldier is a special tomb located next to the National War Memorial. It contains the remains of an unidentified World War I soldier. The soldier's body was moved to Canada from a cemetery near Vimy Ridge in France. Many Canadians died there in a famous battle. The tomb is a symbol. It represents all the Canadians in the Navy, Army, Air Force, or Merchant Marines who die serving their country. Many people place poppies on the tomb on Remembrance Day. Wreaths are a special circular flower arrangement. On Remembrance Day, people lay wreaths at tombs or monuments as a way to honor those who have died. There are many different kinds of wreaths. You can make your own Remembrance Day wreath by pinning poppies to a circular band of green leaves. The red poppies will look especially bright against the green leaves. You can hang your wreath on a wall or a door. Remembrance Day candlelight ceremonies began in the Netherlands. People held the ceremonies to celebrate Canadians who helped liberate them. That means they helped give them their freedom. Most candlelight ceremonies last for about 40 minutes. 
In 1995, Dutch children placed lit candles on the graves of Canadian soldiers. The candles stayed lit overnight and the bright glow drew people to the cemeteries. Each year, Veterans Affairs Canada comes out with a Remembrance Day poster. The poster is meant to remind Canadians of the sacrifices and achievements made by veterans during times of war and peace. The Remembrance Day posters can include artwork and photographs. They mark special events or battles and try to show the personal sides of war. You can make a Remembrance Day poster too. Around the world, Days of Remembrance take place all over the world. In the United States, people celebrate Memorial Day on the last Monday in May. In the United Kingdom, Remembrance Sunday is the second Sunday in November. In Ireland, there is a National Day of Commemoration on the Sunday closest to July 11th. All Irish men and women who died in wars are honored on this day. Jewish people observe Holocaust Remembrance Day at the end of April or at the beginning of May. Spread the word about Remembrance Day. Tell your family and friends about Remembrance Day events that you can attend together. Plan your own commemorative ceremony and invite the people in your neighborhood. On Remembrance Day, encourage your family and friends to say thank you to a veteran or Canadian Forces member. Ask your students, ask the students at your school to write letters of thanks to give to veterans. Learn more about Remembrance Day. Different Remembrance Day ceremonies and events and why it's important to recognize this day. Share what you learn with your family and friends. Research the Canadian memorial sites around the world. There are memorials built for Canadians in countries in Europe, Africa, and Asia. Memorials are usually placed at sites that were important during a war. So there, we've learned a lot about Remembrance Day, haven't we? How are you going to um, honor the people that um, protected our country? What are you going to do on that day? Are you going to go to maybe a cenotaph with your parents or someone else? Um, and that's a place where people go, it's like a statue and people go there sometimes to um, lay a wreath. Remember we talked about wreaths or they lay their poppies there. And sometimes someone will speak and talk about um, the soldiers. There's lots of different things that you can do. Now, maybe this year might be a little bit different because it's a little harder for people to go to places in a big crowd, but maybe you can watch something at home on TV. All right. I hope you have a good day, friends. Bye-bye.